This is so, so super exciting. I've been waiting for this day for a really long time. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, yay. Am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus now. So there's something super special inside of this drawer. Should be a whole lot quieter now that the extractor fans are off. Something so exciting it has just happened inside of here. So quickly go down in the comments and let me know what you think it is. Five, four, never mind, I gotta show you. Look at this. What do you see inside there? Well, you can't really see much, but there we go. She's got eggs and this one has rolled off. So we're gonna have to do something about that and I'll show you guys now how I'm going to fix that by candling the egg and putting the embryo to the top. And then we're gonna put it in my incubator so the eggs can incubate and hatch. I was originally going to yeah, I was originally going to let her self-incubate the eggs just as an experiment and film that to see how it actually does, but I haven't got the enclosures that I was hoping to by now because I'm wanting to get them out of these horrible racking systems and get them into nice, beautiful enclosures, hopefully bioactive. Anyway, guys, let's just get these eggs out of here. So exciting. Sorry, I'm lost for words. Okay, there we go. So what this is, is the little box that... The eggs are gonna be inside for incubation. That vermiculite smell. That's what the substrate is. Basically, it's just got a whole lot of water, and I need to actually add a little bit more water. Okay, that was a bit much. I was supposed to add a little bit of water to this. Can you see me nicely? Okay. I feel like I'm out of focus there. That may have been a bit much water, but that's okay. I guess I'll just add some more. Yeah, it's a little bit much water. I'll add some more vermiculite now. So guys, I've been anxiously waiting this clutch for quite a while now just because it's exciting. I mean, eggs are always exciting. It's new life coming along. So, here we go. Just wipe my hands off and hopefully... You guys will be able to see her. Okay, you can't. I'll bring you a bit closer. Okay, here we go. So there's the eggs. When I palpated her, which is basically feeling how many eggs are inside of her, I felt five eggs. So let's see. Doesn't look like she's going to try to bite me. Just hissing. Okay, girl. Well done. Yep. As I thought. Five eggs and she's empty, empty, empty. Look at that. Okay. Now she's super skinny. She's gonna have a nice meal tonight, hopefully. Let me just put this in here for now. And then this egg. These are all nice, healthy eggs. No slugs. Okay. There we go, this egg has been rolled, it looks like. So what I'm going to do now with that is candle the egg and show you which or how to turn it the right way around. Lights are about to go off now. You can still see a bit of light from the gecko's enclosure, but getting my phone out and there we go. We're going to candle the egg, okay. Okay, so what I'm looking for is this tiny bubble. Ah, there we go. We'll see. Let me just go all the way around because you're going to see a tiny bubble. That is not a bubble over there. That may look like one, but that's just if I show you there, you can see it's just like what you call a window basically in the egg. That's not the bubble I'm talking about. So keep turning the egg around and you shall see, oh boy, I've lost it now, I just had it just now. That little thing's moving there. Can't find my sharpie so I'll just use a whiteboard marker and I'm just going to mark the top of the eggs. Okay, so what we have here is the top of the egg, I'm pretty sure. So you can see 
the little air bubble moving inside there maybe you can't but yeah you can see the air bubble moving inside there and that's what you want to be on top so then I put the eggs inside just like that so I'll take the marker and mark this little guy over here there we have the eggs inside there we go, the eggs are inside of my incubator. Let me put the lid on top and put the probe through. Now I'm just going to write today's date. What is today's date? I think it's the 15th. Today's actually the 16th of the 11th of 2018. 018. There we go. There we have it. I'm nice and shiny from this awesome temperature inside of the reptile room and that's because I switched the extractor fans off so we can film the video without any noise. And I'm literally shaking with excitement. I can't wait for these eggs to hatch and I hope they do really well. All my eggs that I've incubated previously have come out with 100% 100% hatch rate let me get my words and not the excitement just blah, blah, gibbering all out oh gosh i don't even know what to say so i'm super excited 56 days or around there we're going to see how many snakes we have hopefully all five of them will make it through full term and yeah i'm really excited and stoked about these eggs been waiting for them for quite a while and thank you to my girl splashes for giving them to me basically <laughs> she didn't really have a choice though poor thing Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to go out and learn, explore, inspire. Cheers guys, Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I got eggs, so exciting.